Today I will show you a beautiful geometrical interpretation of Euler's sequences. Euler's sequences are these AN and BN. We've studied them before in previous videos. I will leave links to those videos. They're good background for you if you're unfamiliar with these. The thing to remember right now is that AN, if you recall, this is a monotone increasing sequence. It approaches E from below, and BN is above E, approaches E from above, and it's monotone decreasing. So these are key uh, facts about these sequences. We can write uh, this like so. AN is always less than E, and E is always less than bn like like so and we're going to provide a geometrical picture of all this stuff in this video so the first thing i want to do is take the curve y is 1 over x and take the harmonic sequence 1 over n and plot these things all right here we go so here is the curve y is 1 over x, and here are some of the harmonic sequence elements, h1, h2, h3. So and this is, well, we can say in general, like this one is hn is 1 over n. So n here is a natural number. We don't want to divide by 0. Now let's chop up the area under the curve y is... 1 over x into kind of like strips like this. Okay, and we want to examine this area here. So I'm going to do that in a nice picture here. Right, okay, so let's look at the area under the curve or the strips like this. So we'll call this A, A1. So the area is areas begin with a1 and a2 and so on like a sequence of areas which are these strips here under the curve mm, okay so this is h1 that's 1 over 1 and that's 1 over 2 so that's h1 this is a1 and this is h2 and in general we have here mm, okay let's follow the pattern that would be hn and this is h this is a n and this is h n plus one like so we can use integration to find a n oh we can find a one let's just find a one first that's integral from one to two one over x dx and that's log two over one and that's just log two that's interesting so in general, a n, let's compute it now for, for this area here. That's n to n plus 1, integral 1 over x dx. That's log n plus 1 minus log n. And that's log n plus 1 over n. So that's a n. So this is very important. This is like the cornerstone of everything we're going to do this allows a geometric interpretation of Euler's sequences. And now and now we can ask ourselves, how do this sequence of areas behave? Is there anything we can prove or deduce about this sequence of areas? We see that it's decreasing, but it turns out there's a lot more we can say. And let's investigate that in the next parts of this video. Let's plot this sequence of areas a1, a2, a3, and so on. We get this. So this here is h1. This is a1. I've plotted it underneath the 1 here, or actually on top of the 1. And this is h2, and this is a2 over here. This is 2 here, and, uh, and so on. This is hn, and this is an. So the first thing you notice is that um, the area a n is less than h n we see that here uh, with n is one and why is that well we can see that with a geometric argument let's say this is h n here it's h2 but let's call it h n and we'll make this rectangle like this 
Right, so what is that area? That's hn times one. Okay, but what is the area under the curve here? Under the curve y is one over x. Well, this area, this is an. And so we see that this area here is less than hn times one. So we have an is less than hn times one, and then an is less than hn. Okay, so that's very interesting, but we can uh, actually do more than this. If we look at this graph more carefully, we see that the red dots, which are an, are always uh, in between the greens. The ordinates of the red is in between the ordinates of the greens. So for example, if this is hn, this will be an, and this is hn plus one. And we see a very interesting inequality. hn plus one is strictly less than an, which is strictly less than hn. So this is actually part of, well, we, it contains this inequality that we discovered right over here. It's now all in one package. And the question is, can we prove this? And the answer is yes, of course we can. And to prove this, we will use properties of the Euler sequences. So let me write that down again. This is what we're trying to prove. Here are our two Euler sequences, and here is the famous inequality, all of which I showed in previous videos. So I'm gonna give you the links in the description box. I plug in the terms of the sequence here. Now, log x is monotone increasing when uh, x is in the range that we're interested in, which is x is greater than, or, well, it's monotone increasing over its whole domain, but specifically, I'm interested in this part here. So we can apply log of x to um, all three of these terms and nothing changes log e is one. Now we can rewrite this a little bit like this, n plus one over n less than one, and this is n plus one log n plus one over n. And this is very interesting because this is a n, and uh, sorry, there's a less than here, one less than n plus one a n. Okay, very beautiful. Um, you see the geometrical interpretation of this and this. You see it now. Uh, it's unfolding before your very eyes. Okay, so let's take this part of the uh, inequality and examine this first. So that gives us this a n is less than h n. Right. Now, let's examine this inequality here. What does that give us? This is 1 over n plus 1. This is less than a n. But this is h n plus 1 less than a n. Right, so can we put all of these things together? Yes. We now join them, this one and this one. And what do we get? We get um, a n is less than h n but a n is greater than h n plus one. And there we go. This is what we wanted to prove uh, from up here. We've done it. Very amazing uh, <laughs> geometrical interpretation of Euler's sequences and their fundamental uh, behavior. But we can, we can go a little bit more, maybe we can check something else out. Let's look at that uh, plot of the areas again. Let's look at it from a different point of view. Let's call this a n um, instead of a one. Let's just pretend it's a n because it's unclear to work <laughs> over here. I don't want to try to work there. So we'll work here where there's a lot of space to see what's going on. That's a n. This is h n plus one. Uh, h n plus one. H n plus one. And this is a n plus one. So what do we see here? Well, see another kind of inequality. We have a 
n plus 1, which is the smallest, and then h, n plus 1 in the middle, and then finally the biggest is a n. Okay, exercise. Prove this using the inequality that we proved in part 2. It should be uh, doable. I think they're equivalent uh, in a sense, so you, you do that. But I'm going to do it uh, using Euler's sequences because it's so much fun to do. I want to do it that way. Let me write down what I want to prove here so I get some space. All right, so we keep that in mind. Start with this basic inequality, but you know that a n is increasing, but, but it never reaches e. So that means a n must be less than a n plus 1. That's going to be less than e. And this is b n. So in fact, I can work with this inequality here or this set of inequalities like like that. I plug in the expressions for a n and b n and let me do a bit of a uh, some algebra here. I just put things on the common denominator like that. Now let's apply log of x again. I can do that because it's monotone. Let's change things around a bit. We have n plus 1, and this here is a n plus 1. Okay, and this is 1, and here n plus 1, and this is a n. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's look at this part of the inequalities first. I get this, which is a n plus 1 is less than h n plus 1. Now let's do the second part, which is this here, of the inequalities. I get 1 over n plus 1 is less than a n, and that's h n plus 1 is less than a n. Okay, can we join these two together? Yeah, they join very easily. I can just join them up here and I get a n plus 1 less than h n plus 1 less than a n. Okay, let's see, is that what we want? Yeah, that's up here. That's the set of inequalities up there. No problem, we did it. Okay, that's very beautiful. I think this uh, geometrical understanding of Euler sequences is way, way amazing. I, I think it's just totally awesome. But there's a reason why I'm introducing it. We need this uh, material because I'm going to use it for a really big result that you will no doubt like very much, uh, probably in the next video coming up soon. So I will see you then.